for the school dashboard that we just released a couple of days ago is intended to be a guide, a decision-making tool for school boards and school superintendents and parents alike. Uh, it gives you school zone level data uh, because sometimes it's confusing and hard to follow all the metrics uh, that are supposed to be part of the decision-making process. And people invariably uh, tend to like one metric more than the other. And sometimes we miss information uh, that is being presented. So the idea was that the, the school dashboard is going to give you a composite view. What is the result of all those metrics? What is it telling me? And we've tried to boil it down to a school zone level in a color-coded way, red, yellow, green, very easy to follow. And if your school zone shows up in red, that means you still have some one or more metrics at a high level showing that there is presence of disease in that school zone high enough that the health department doesn't feel comfortable uh, asking or telling people that it is safe to go to school in person. So you're going to find the recommendation from the health department being, yes, you know, learning is important, but in that scenario, uh, go for in, in, in virtual learning, not in-person learning, go for a online school. But if you find a school zone in the yellow color, that means things are improving in that area. And in, in that school district or in that school zone, people can try a hybrid model. Uh, where some kids are going for in-person learning and some are going for virtual learning through an online model. Uh, that allows school districts to actually implement their safety plans uh, in a more organized way. It gives them enough space at their school because less kids are coming in so that they can be socially distant, they can practice a variety of safety things that are in their plans to get ready for when full-on in-person learning is going to come. And then if you find a school in the green zone, that means that school zone is ready. All the data metrics are pointing down and things are improved enough that they are ready to try in-person learning. And again, these are not static uh, measures. They change from week to week. And if a school zone changes color, it means we have to come back and reevaluate what happened, what went right, what went wrong, and then make a decision going forward from there.